Chapter 3 The Photograph I worked in the garden for the first two days. The weather was hot and sunny. I liked working with Mr. Duncan, and he was pleased with my work. Глава третья. Фотография. Я проработала в саду первые два дня. Погода была жаркая и солнечная. Мне понравилось работать с мистером Данканом, и он был доволен моей работой. You're a good gardener, he said. I've always liked gardening, I said. But I'm studying at college to be a farmer. Ты хороший садовник, сказал он. Мне всегда нравилось садоводство, сказала я. Но я учусь в колледже на фермера. Sometimes I saw Greta Ross. She likes to be alone, I thought. Once or twice. I saw Greta go out with her painting things. She went up on the hills or down to the beach. Иногда я видела Грету Росс. Она любит быть одна, подумала я. Раз или два я видела, как Грета выходила со своими вещами для живописи. Она поднималась на холмы или спускалась на пляж. Mr. Duncan took me to the farm, and I met Dan and Stella Parks. They were very friendly. You can work on the farm for the next three days, said Dan Parks. Mr. Duncan отвел меня на ферму, и я познакомилась с Дэном и Стеллой Паркс. Они были очень дружелюбны. Вы можете работать на ферме в течение следующих трех дней, сказал Дэн Пакс. Мистер Дункан says you're a good gardener. Are you a good farmer too? I smiled at him. I am, I said. He smiled back. So I worked on the farm with Mr. and Mrs. Parks. They were nice people. Мистер Данкан говорит, что вы хороший садовник. Вы хороший фермер тоже. Я улыбнулась ему. Да, сказала я. Он улыбнулся в ответ. Итак, я работала на ферме с мистером и миссис Пакс. Они были хорошими людьми. I helped with the cows and the chickens and went up on the hills with Mr. Parks and his dog to look at the sheep. One afternoon, I went out riding. Smoke was a big, lazy, friendly horse. Я помогала ухаживать за коровами и курами. Поднималась на холмы с мистером Паксом и его собакой смотреть на овец. Однажды днем я поехала верхом. Дымок был большим, ленивым, дружелюбным конем. I enjoyed riding, and Smoke knew his way around the island very well. I learned new places to go to. I rode along the cliff top. And then in between some trees. Мне нравилось кататься, и Дымок прекрасно знал дорогу по острову. Я узнала новые места, куда можно поехать. Я проехала вдоль вершины скалы, а затем между деревьями. When we came out of the trees, I saw the house from the other side. I tried to find the window of my room. Which one was it? Suddenly, I saw a face at one of the windows. 
Когда мы вышли за деревьев, я увидела дом с другой стороны. Я попыталась найти окно своей комнаты. Какое же из них оно? Вдруг я увидела лицо в одном из окон. The face was looking at me. It was there for just a second or two, then it moved away quickly. Who was that? I thought. Was it Mr. Ross? And which room was it? Лицо смотрело на меня. Оно было там всего секунду или две, затем быстро удалилось. Кто это был? Подумала я. Это был мистер Росс? И в какой комнате он был? I didn't see my mother very much that first week. She worked all day and in the evenings. She wrote letters to South America, Japan, Canada and Australia. Sometimes she worked after I was in bed. Я не видела свою маму очень много в ту первую неделю. Или я редко видела маму в ту первую неделю. Она работала целыми днями и по вечерам. Она писала письма в Южную Америку, Японию, Канаду и Австралию. Иногда она работала после того, как я ложилась спать. Mr. Ross works hard, she told me. He invests money in many companies and countries, but it's not his money. It's not. I was surprised by this. No, it's his wife's money, and she bought the island. Mr. Ross много работает, сказала она мне. Он вкладывает деньги во многие компании и страны, но это не его деньги. Не его? Я была удивлена этим. Нет, это деньги его жены. И это она купила этот остров. It's her island, her house, her farm. Everything belongs to her. How strange. Why does Mr. Ross always look sad? And why does he never leave the island? I asked. Belong. Belong. Принадлежать. Это ее остров, ее дом, ее ферма. Все принадлежит ей. Как странно, но почему мистер Рос всегда выглядит грустным? И почему он никогда не покидает остров? Спросила я. I don't know, said my mother. He says he likes it here and likes working on his farm. It's strange, I know. Я не знаю, сказала моя мама. Он говорит, что ему нравится здесь и нравится работать на своей ферме. Это странно, я знаю. Sometimes, when I finished work, I walked along the beaches or the cliffs, or I went swimming in the sea. I liked swimming. Greta Ross often came to the beach to swim. But Mr. Ross never came. Иногда, когда я заканчивала работу, я гуляла вдоль пляжей или скал. Или я ходила купаться в море. Мне нравилось плавать. Грета Росс часто приходила на пляж, чтобы поплавать. Но мистер Росс никогда не приходил. Stay away from the rocks, Carol, Retta Ross told me. They're very dangerous. I will, I said. Sometimes I took my camera to the beach 
and took photographs of some of the boats that went by. I took photographs of the birds on the cliffs. Photograph. Photograph. Фотография. Фотографировать. Словосочетание take photographs или take photos или take pictures также означает фотографировать. Держись подальше от скал, Кэрол, сказала мне Грета Рос. Они очень опасны. Я буду, сказала я. Иногда я брала с собой фотоаппарат на пляж и фотографировала лодки, которые проплывали мимо. Я фотографировала птиц на скалах. There were other small islands near our island, and boats with tourists stopped at them. But no boats stopped at our island. They kept away from the dangerous rocks. Keep. Kept. Kept. Основное значение – хранить. Фразовый глагол to keep away имеет значение держаться подальше, не подпускать. Рядом с нашим островом были другие маленькие острова, и лодки с туристами останавливались у них. Но ни одна лодка не остановилась у нашего острова. Они держались подальше от опасных скал. Тони был прав. Остров не имел посетителей. Один день я ходил в дом и имел мою камеру с собой. I stopped and looked at the big house. Тони был прав. На острове не бывало гостей. Однажды я возвращалась к дому, и у меня с собой был фотоаппарат. Я остановилась и посмотрела на большой дом. Мистер Дункан был working in the garden in front of it. At first, He didn't see me. I'm going to take a photograph of the house, I thought. The sun is in just the right place, and it will make a good picture. Mr. Duncan работал в саду перед ним. Сначала он меня не видел. Сфотографирую-ка я дом, подумала я. Солнце как раз в нужном месте, и получится хороший снимок. I looked at the building through my camera and took the photograph. Mr. Ross was coming out of a door. He was in my picture too, and he looked angry. Я посмотрела на здание через камеру и сделала снимок. Мистер Росс выходил из двери. Он тоже был на моей фотографии, и он выглядел рассерженным. It's all right, I thought. It's still a good photograph. But Mr. Duncan was running across the grass. He came quickly up to me and said, Give me your camera! Все в порядке, подумала я. Это все равно хорошая фотография. Но мистер Данкин бежал по траве. Он быстро подошел ко мне и сказал, Дай мне твою камеру. He looked very worried. What's wrong? I asked in surprise. I gave him the camera. Never take photographs of Mr. Ross, he said. And then he opened the back of my camera and took out the film. Film. Основное значение этого слова – фильм, кино. Еще одно значение – это кино или фотопленка. В американском английском в значении «фильм» чаще используется слово «movie». Movie. Movie. 
Он выглядел очень обеспокоенным. «Что случилось?» — спросила я удивленно. Я отдала ему фотоаппарат. «Никогда не фотографируй мистера Росса», — сказал он. Затем он открыл заднюю крышку моего фотоаппарата и вынул пленку. «Хей! What are you doing?» I said. «You'll spoil my film!» But he didn't stop. Sorry, he said, and he put the film into his pocket. But no pictures of Mr. Ross. He doesn't like people to take pictures of him. Spoil. Spoil. Портить, портиться. Второе значение – баловать. «Эй, что вы делаете?» – сказала я. «Вы испортили мою пленку». Но он не остановился. «Извини», – сказал он и положил пленку в свой карман. «Но никаких фотографий мистера Росса. Он не любит, когда его фотографируют». Мистер Росс был смотрел на нас. Он видел камеру. And he saw Mr. Duncan take out the film, but he said nothing. Then he turned and went back into the house. Mr. Ross наблюдал за нами. Он видел камеру и видел, как мистер Данкан вынимал пленку, но ничего не сказал. Затем он повернулся и пошел обратно в дом. Later, I told my mother about Mr. Duncan and the camera. He spoiled my film, I said. I don't understand, she said. Why did he do that? I don't know, I said. But there's something strange about Mr. Ross. Позже я рассказала маме о мистере Данке и фотоаппарате. Он испортил мою пленку, сказала я. Я не понимаю, сказала она, почему он это сделал. Я не знаю, сказала я, но есть что-то странное в мистере Росси. About a week later, I finished work early one day and came back to the house. My mother was working in her small room next to Mr. Ross's office. Mrs. Duncan was in the kitchen. Greta Ross was painting in her room upstairs. Примерно через неделю я закончила работу рано и вернулась в дом. Моя мама работала в своей маленькой комнате, рядом с кабинетом мистера Росса. Миссис Данкен была на кухне. Грета Росс рисовала в своей комнате наверху. I went to my room and began reading a book. I was sitting beside the window. After half an hour, I got tired of reading. I looked out at the rain and the grey sea and the rocks between the trees. Я пошла в свою комнату и начала читать книгу. Я сидела у окна. Через полчаса я устала от чтения. Я посмотрела на дождь и на серое море, и на скалы между деревьями. My book isn't very interesting, I thought. I got up and went out of my room. I walked along the passage and turned a corner. Then I saw the door at the end of the passage. 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 Проход, прохождение. Моя книга не очень интересная, подумала я. Я встала и вышла из комнаты. Я прошла по проходу и свернула за угол. Затем я увидела дверь в конце прохода.
there was a large plant in a plant pot outside the door. Where does that door go? I thought. I haven't seen it before. I remembered the face at the window in my first week on the island. Pot. Pot. Garshuk. Kastrulem. У двери стояло большое растение в цветочном горшке. Куда ведет эта дверь? Подумала я. Я не видела ее и раньше. Я вспомнила лицо в окне в мою первую неделю на острове. Perhaps it's the door to that room, I thought. I walked along to the door and turned the handle. The door didn't move. It was locked. What are you doing? said a voice behind me. Handle. Handle. Ручка. Рукоятка. Второе значение. Справиться. You can handle it. Ты справишься с этим. Возможно, это дверь в ту комнату, подумала я. Я подошла к двери и повернула ручку. Дверь не двинулась. Она была заперта. Что ты делаешь? Сказал голос позади меня. I turned round quickly and saw Greta Ross. She looked angry. That room is private, she said. I'm sorry, I said. I didn't... Stay away from there, she told me. Я быстро обернулась и увидела Грет Росс. Она выглядела рассерженной. Это личная комната, сказала она. Извините, сказала я, я не... Держись от нее подальше, сказала она мне. I told my mother about the locked door. What's behind it? I said. Is it a secret? I don't know, said my mother. It doesn't matter. Mr. Ross can have locked rooms if he wants them. Я рассказала маме о запертой двери. Что за ней? сказала я. Это секрет? Я не знаю, сказала мама. Это не важно. Мистер Рос может иметь запертые комнаты, если он того хочет. I think he does have secrets, I said. There's something strange about him. There's something strange about this island. Я думаю, у него есть секреты, сказала я. В нем есть что-то странное. Есть что-то странное в этом острове. Somebody isn't telling us something. Something important. My mother laughed. Stop playing detective, Carol, she said. Кое-кто нам что-то не договаривает, что-то важное. Моя мама рассмеялась. Хватит играть детектива, Кэрол, сказала она. Chapter 3 The Photograph I worked in the garden for the first two days. The weather was hot and sunny. I liked working with Mr. Duncan, and he was pleased with my work. You're a good gardener, he said. I've always liked gardening, 
I said. But I'm studying at college to be a farmer. Sometimes I saw Greta Ross. She likes to be alone, I thought. Once or twice, I saw Greta go out with her painting things. She went up on the hills or down to the beach. Mr. Duncan took me to the farm, and I met Dan and Stella Parks. They were very friendly. You can work on the farm for the next three days," said Dan Parks. Mr. Duncan says you're a good gardener. Are you a good farmer too? I smiled at him. I am," I said. He smiled back. So I worked on the farm with Mr. and Mrs. Parks. They were nice people. I helped with the cows and the chickens, and went up on the hills with Mr. Parks and his dog to look at the sheep. One afternoon, I went out riding. Smoke was a big, lazy, friendly horse. I enjoyed riding, and Smoke knew his way around the island very well. I learned new places to go to. I rode along the cliff top. And then in between some trees, when we came out of the trees, I saw the house from the other side. I tried to find the window of my room. Which one was it? Suddenly, I saw a face at one of the windows. The face was looking at me. It was there for just a second or two, then it moved away quickly. Who was that? I thought. Was it Mr. Ross? And which room was it? I didn't see my mother very much that first week. She worked all day, and in the evenings, she wrote letters to South America, Japan, Canada, and Australia. Sometimes she worked after I was in bed. Mr. Ross works hard, she told me. He invests money in many companies and countries. But it's not his money. It's not. I was surprised by this. No, it's his wife's money, and she bought the island. It's her island, her house, her farm. Everything belongs to her. How strange. Why does Mr. Ross always look sad? And why does he never leave the island? I asked. I don't know," said my mother. He says he likes it here and likes working on his farm. It's strange, I know. Sometimes, when I finished work, I walked along the beaches or the cliffs, or I went swimming in the sea. I liked swimming. Greta Ross often came to the beach to swim, but Mr. Ross never came.
Stay away from the rocks, Carol, Retta Ross told me. They're very dangerous. I will, I said. Sometimes I took my camera to the beach and took photographs of some of the boats that went by. I took photographs of the birds on the cliffs. There were other small islands near our island, and boats with tourists stopped at them. But no boat stopped at our island. They kept away from the dangerous rocks. Tony was right. The island did not have visitors. One day, I was walking back to the house and had my camera with me. I stopped and looked at the big house. Mr. Duncan was working in the garden in front of it. At first, he didn't see me. I'm going to take a photograph of the house, I thought. The sun is in just the right place and it will make a good picture. I looked at the building through my camera and took the photograph. Mr. Ross was coming out of a door. He was in my picture too, and he looked angry. It's all right, I thought. It's still a good photograph. But Mr. Duncan was running across the grass. He came quickly up to me and said, Give me your camera! He looked very worried. What's wrong? I asked in surprise. I gave him the camera. Never take photographs of Mr. Ross, he said. And then he opened the back of my camera and took out the film. Hey, what are you doing? I said. You'll spoil my film. But he didn't stop. Sorry, he said. And he put the film into his pocket. But no pictures of Mr. Ross. He doesn't like people to take pictures of him. Mr. Ross was watching us. He saw the camera and he saw Mr. Duncan take out the film. But he said nothing. Then he turned and went back into the house. Later, I told my mother about Mr. Duncan and the camera. He spoiled my film, I said. I don't understand, she said. Why did he do that? I don't know, I said. But there's something strange about Mr. Ross. About a week later, I finished work early one day and came back to the house. My mother was working in her small room next to Mr. Ross's office. Mrs. Duncan was in the kitchen. Greta Ross was painting in her room upstairs. I went to my room and began reading a book. I was sitting beside the window. After half an hour, I got tired of reading. I looked out at the rain and the grey sea and the rocks between the trees. My book isn't very interesting, I thought. I got up and went out of my room. I walked along the passage and turned a corner. Then I saw the door at the end of the passage.
There was a large plant in a plant pot outside the door. Where does that door go? I thought. I haven't seen it before. I remembered the face at the window in my first week on the island. Perhaps it's the door to that room, I thought. I walked along to the door and turned the handle. The door didn't move. It was locked. What are you doing? said a voice behind me. I turned round quickly and saw Greta Ross. She looked angry. That room is private, she said. I'm sorry, I said. I didn't. Stay away from there, she told me. I told my mother about the locked door. What's behind it? I said. Is it a secret? I don't know, said my mother. It doesn't matter. Mr. Ross can have locked rooms if he wants them. I think he does have secrets, I said. There's something strange about him. There's something strange about this island. Somebody isn't telling us something. Something important. My mother laughed. Stop playing detective, Carol, she said. <laughs>